Our mission is to destroy a battery of AA guns that's shooting down our bombers. But we have to push through enemy territory and take out those guns before Kraut reinforcements arrive. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Matt and welcome back to Call of Duty World War II's multiplayer. Today we're going to be doing some more war on, what is the name of this mission? I can't remember. Operation Breakout. And today we're going to be using the Bren because it is one of the LMGs that I haven't really leveled up yet. I haven't used it too awful much. You just have a reticle and a grip on it and uh, not really a big fan of the weapon so far. I actually think it's incredibly slow and cumbersome and I don't really think it's all that good of a weapon to be honest. I don't think that the attributes that it has compensate properly for the reduced rate of fire and somewhat terrible handling, like it's slow handling. I think it, I don't know. I don't know where it falls yet. Maybe I'm just missing something that tends to happen with me. I tend to really think poorly of weapons to begin with, and then I like them a lot more later on down the road. But so far, I'm not really all that in love with the Brent, but that's why we're gonna be using it. We're gonna try and figure some stuff out with it. We're gonna try and learn to love it. We're gonna take our time with it. So we've already taken the first point, which is really good because I think the Bren actually would excel in these more mid-range engagements. The slow rate of fire will allow it to settle more. Enemy and incoming! Will allow it to settle quicker. Or allow it to settle before uh it fires its next round, which would make it pretty ideal for, you know, roughly middle, middle range stuff. I don't know what I'm trying to say, okay? I lost, I lost all of my words in that, but I did get a dude. Yeah. <sighs> so I'm just gonna use a hammer. I'm just gonna hammer things. I'm just gonna smash things with a hammer. Build a bridge. Okay, I'm starting to see where the Bren has some pretty serious strengths already. I'm starting to see it. I knew as soon as I stood up I was going to get lit up, but that's okay. We're spawning relatively close to everything now. How are you not dead? Watch the road for enemies! All right. Okay, I take back what I said about the Bren. I'm really starting to like it. <laughs> I didn't see the dude shooting at me. I was too focused on the guy that kept peeking his head around the barrel. Look at me doing some work here. We built the bridge. Move up. Enemy flamethrower observed. Don't Look at up. me go. I'm already at eight kills. Destroyed our German ammo supply, so they I have a, an order to get 45 kills in a single game of war, which I might get at this rate. Enemy airdrop. Because this is only the first round. We still have a defense round to play, and I don't know if I like showing those, but we'll try it out. We'll give it a shot. My goodness. <laughs> that flamethrower just ripped through all of us. in the field <laughs> uh, I tried to throw that grenade back but I couldn't I keep thinking I have the expeditionary force on the expeditionary division so I can pick up and like cook grenades or no it's not expeditionary it's a uh... oh it's one of the perks I can't remember what actually it does I think it's one of the perks is once you reset the fuse on grenades when you pick them up concussed it's not concussed is it and I can't remember which basic training perk it is but I keep thinking I have it on, and I don't. Don't let them defuse our bomb. In the ammo dump. Uh, dudes. Destroy that ammo no supply. No dudes. No dudes. We got the ammo supply. Okay. There were no dudes. There's got to be dudes over here. Where's all the dudes? Ah, oh, there was a dude. There's another dude. There's dudes. Go get him, dude. I'll steal your kill for you. That was like ultra spawn kill attack. 
attempt right there. Oh, man. I'm glad they give them spawn protection, because that would have been pretty terrible. We're advancing! Protect us! That's it! We're advancing! We're on the move! Okay, is he just gonna come around this way? Oh, no, there's a guy there picking him off. Oh, hey, dude, what's up? <laughs> Shotgun point blank, yep. Not all that good for me. If we keep moving like this, I'm not going to get to the point where I can get my 45 kills in a single game just because we're doing too good. That's a really weird thing to have happen. I can't say a thing, Patton. I can't, I couldn't see him. Everything was too shaky. I couldn't see what was happening. I'm kind of glad we're getting choke pointed here. I wanted to get some. I wanted to get some kills. Farm here a little bit. Is that dude still back here? I don't see him. Well, that was uh, that was relatively simple. How long did that whole round take? Not too awful long, just under like five minutes, it looks like. Five, oh, just under six minutes. I'm <laughs> oh, my mathematical skills. Okay, now we get to defend, though. Now we get to defend. Our mission is to delay the enemy until reinforcements arrive and protect our flag guns. And I don't think that I'm going to use the bipod all that much, because I don't think the, the Bren actually needs that level of stabilization. I think it's just good enough as it is without it. I don't actually think it needs it. Defend the command post and the classified intel it holds. We'll just, uh... We'll just sit here for a second. This is usually a good place to start off. Because you get dudes that come through these areas. They don't know what's going on. They don't look behind them. Like that dude, they don't look around. Defend the command post, soldier. Dude, your own team smoke did you in, just so you know. That's a grenade. Don't let them overrun the command post. <laughs> they were going to be waiting for me eventually. I knew it was going to happen. You can only like camp from the same rough location for so long before the enemy eventually catches on and gets you. Throw a grenade. Take See, I could like set up the bipod here, but like what good is it gonna do? Just having the Bren is just kind of like having a bipod. It fires so slow. And that is an example of how not to use a very slow handling, slow firing light machine gun. You do not just run at people. Two minutes until our reinforcements get here. Not the way to do it. Yeah, I figured I wasn't going to get that. We do seem to have this pretty locked down as it is, though. Reinforcements will be here soon. Oh. 
Reload this. Try to reload again. One minute left. <laughs> Woo Please don't blow me up. Be kind of a really, really stupid way to die right now. Thirty seconds. Thirty seconds. That's all we gotta hold is thirty seconds. Now that I've kind of figured out the handling of the weapon, I can be a bit more mobile with it because I know how soon I have to how soon I have to start aiming before I can really take full advantage of it. Shot in the back. I always get shot in the back. It feels like. I mean, I don't, but it feels like it. We've won. We held off the enemy and we held them off right in the beginning. Right off the bat. And our flat cannons can take down their bombers and the day is saved for the Germans. I don't even think I got a total of 30 kills. I might have gotten a total of 30 kills. Didn't get to play long enough for it. But let's let it load and see how everything turned out in the end. Return to the lobby. That wasn't even first place, but I'll still do the jumping jacks and celebrate. Yada, yada, yada. Extended mags for the Bren. Twenty-nine kills. Didn't even get thirty kills. Well, oh well. Good enough for me, though. That was a pretty good little round. I'm really starting to like the Bren quite a bit. I'm seeing the strengths and weaknesses of it. Definitely, it's slow handling and powerful, and you just kind of got to get used to it, just like every weapon. So, as always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. My name is Matt, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>